Okay, so I guess this uh, this video is going to be the last video of this series because it's going to be very long if we keep on making uh, donut videos, you know, on this series. So what I'm thinking is uh, I'll cover other functions and features of uh, Blender uh, on other videos with um, other objects. Uh, instead of just making donut and uh, keep making video on this donut so this is going to be the last video just um, I'm just going to do a simple animation and show you how to uh, do the render okay so we have this uh, circle if you remember from the previous video I'm just gonna uh, choose the circle here and press delete. Uh, I don't want that circle. And let's go to this um, solid, what's that? Yeah, solid mode so that it's gonna, um, so that we can work smoothly. And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna pull this thing up and this is the timeline for animation. Um, We should first click on this frame one. Animation should always start from frame one. And uh, here the end, if you see here, end is 200. That means the animation ends on frame 200. We don't need 200 for now. So we'll keep it 100, okay? So on frame one, what we're gonna do is click on the donut. Um, we're going to keep it as it is, so we're not doing anything, but we need to insert keyframe. So press I to insert keyframe, and we're going to choose a rotation because we're going to do rotation animation, okay? And now go to uh, frame 100, keeping, uh, keeping the donut selected. Uh, press R to rotate and press minus 360 and press OK. We have rotated the uh, donut to 360 minus 360 degree. Now we have to press I to insert keyframe and choose rotation again. Now we have done the animation. If you press spacebar or click on this play button, you can see the animation working. Okay, it keeps repeating. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, let's go to this material preview mode. We have this uh, thing, this surface, this plane. Uh, so I'm going to choose this plane and um, press R to rotate. And uh, I'm going to choose X axis and I'm going to choose 90 degree. Um, sorry. Um, R to rotate and Y axis. And then 90 degree. Okay. And press enter. That would be the right thing to do. But right now, the donut is still stuck in the plane. So we're going to grab with G and um, G, uh, we're going to grab the surface, the plane, and then um, press Y for Y axis and then we can move uh, what happened here? Grab and then Y axis sorry, not Y axis, grab and then X axis Okay, so we're gonna take it a little further from the donut. Now, if you see from this view, okay, we can change the view to straight view, like, I mean, like, not like this, but straight from the x axis or y axis. You can just choose from the number pad if you press one. 
this is going to show one axis or x axis if you press three you're going to see the axis you want to see this is uh i think this is the x axis this is y this is x yeah you can also uh, choose from this thing if you don't want to use number pad or if you don't have just uh, if you want to go to x axis like this okay i'm gonna zoom in and then i'm gonna press ctrl alt and number zero on number pad so that the camera view is locked in this view okay now if you press spacebar you're gonna see like this and one last thing i'm gonna do is press the surface of the material or the plane once again and go to material properties and uh, go to base color i'm going to choose a different color here oh okay that's what i need if i end it now that looks good okay okay so we have animated this um donut with this pink background so at last what we're going to do is we're going to go to render and render animation but um first of all what we're going to do is um there are different ways to do that if you want to go to um this output properties uh you have this file format you can choose png first first option i'm going to show you first option is ffmpeg video okay and you have this output um, file location you can click on this thing and change the folder the location where you want to save the file you're going to choose mpeg video and if you go to render and render animation it's it's going to take a little time to render but at the end you're going to see the output the video output inside that folder the output folder or the destination folder that's the one way but it's considered that the that animation or that that video is not going to be good enough uh in terms of quality okay it's not gonna give the best quality so the uh, the way animator or um video maker or whatever they are this what they suggest is first choose png or maybe tiff tiff and render render animation go to render animation what it does is on this output folder it creates a sequence of um, pictures or images it creates for example there are there are 100 frames here so that's going to create 100 images in this folder okay and once you do that once the rendering is done what you do is you're gonna go to you're gonna close this um file and you're gonna open um new okay um new workspace or new file whatever and we're gonna you're gonna choose video editing and then you're gonna uh, choose add and from here you're gonna choose image or sequence okay and once you choose image sequence um uh should be somewhere here um for me it's the i don't know where it is um yeah for example i had done it before so these are the image sequences you can choose all and then add image strips so 
it creates a kind of uh, animation here. I have added a lot of app image sequence here, so <laughs> yeah, they are creating different images here. So once the image sequence is imported here, so now you go, you go to this um, output and then you go to now you finally choose this ffmpg video and then um, um, encoding choose mpeg4 okay that's the uh, video format you're gonna use after that you go to render and then render animation that's gonna uh, that's gonna be a fast render it's not actually going to be a render but it's going to um, convert all the image sequence images into a video okay so that's what um, that's what is suggested okay so there are two ways you know, one you can just um, render directly uh, you render the animation directly to and before or the for, for better quality just convert it to picture first or image first and then bring it to video editing and then you know render to and before so that's those are the two ways you can do okay so um that's what we uh do and that's what we have created so far um so this is what we have done so far uh this is the result uh yeah render your animation your image your animation your donut and uh, try to see what it looks like and if there's anything you need to make changes make changes and um, keep practicing so this is going to be the last video as i said earlier um maybe i'll post some or post more videos uh, make some uh, make more videos on blender um but not on this donut it's going to be different objects or different thing i'm going to make uh on blender so okay so till then uh keep practicing keep making donut and other objects and any other thing on blender and the more you practice the more um what to say the more you practice the better you get okay so thanks for watching the videos till now um hope you like the series and I'm gonna make more videos on blender I'm also learning uh, so whatever I learn I'm gonna post the videos uh, on this channel upload the video on the channel and uh, uh, I hope those, those videos help you so till then take care goodbye